Hey, what that shit Quavo was doing? He said, <laughs> he was hitting that shit. <laughs> Yo, that countdown felt like some like Chris Jericho, like Y2J, save us shit. That was fire. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was fire. Yeah, that was fire. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, with you, with you, man. Salute, big action. I appreciate you for sliding through, my G. How do I say? How do I say these things? You feel me? Like we always do at this time, or then I could hit them with a. uh, If this is your first time hearing this, you are about to experience something so cold. Of course, if you are tapped in, if you are tuned in to the P3 Patreon, you're gonna get this early. You feel me? If you're not tapped in, maybe you should stay tapped in, stay tuned in, stay dangerous, and you'll probably get these things a little bit earlier than that. But with that said, of course, as y'all already know, if you don't, y'all already know what it is. And if you don't, then the great PE3 will enlighten you. I go by the name, oh my God, Graham, big dog in the building, the Don. The, hold on, let me let me throw some gunshots for you real quick, because I, I feel like it, it should, it's it, it's only necessary if, if we do it. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got, hold on, we got to do the Don DeMarco. We got to do the... Bang, bang. Right, 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 right. And then we got to load up. This nigga yeah. uses the Don DeMarco sounds right now. Actually, Don Coogee in the building, man. How you the feeling, my guy? Battle. I'm, I'm feeling good, bro. First and foremost, thank you for having me. Uh, huge fan of the podcast. I don't like a lot of other people's podcasts either. I'm like a wild hater. But y'all, the shit y'all got going on is fucking important. So thank you for having me. I'm going to give you your flowers early. Very you know what? I, I I do appreciate that, and, and show, I think it's, I think it's funny that you mentioned uh you feel me like you be hating on niggas because like oh, honestly yeah. that's that's what we're here to do. We we here to hate on some niggas today. You feel me? That's the per- this is the perfect this is the perfect episode for me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is the perfect episode for me. I, just I love it. it. I love it. I love you asked it. me to do it. I was like, I got you. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. The funny thing about it was, I think I like I I sent like a, just a like a just a random tweet out. You feel me? And the funny thing, like, honestly, like when I was thinking about doing this, I thought of you. You feel me? I, I think this would be a dope opportunity. You feel me? For us to kind of get together, chop it up. You know what I'm saying? And, and kind of run a little play here. Now, <laughs> for, for for those that are unfamiliar with what we're doing here today, what we are going to be building what is called forever hate list. Now, these are situations, things, people, places, you know, nouns and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, that that you just may not be fucking with for whatever the reason is, for whatever the reason may be, you just don't fuck with that. You feel me? You stay on your side, the nigga stay on their side, you feel me? And we keep it copacetic like this. I actually stole this uh, from uh, Officially Ice. If anybody doesn't know who Officially Ice is on Twitter, part of the Joe Budden podcast, uh, one of these gentlemen who I've been harassing, trying to get to come on the Public Enemies podcast. I'm sick of this man over there dropping all these wrestling references. You feel me? So like, buddy, gonna have to come over here. Either, either, either Ice, uh, Arsenal, or or DNA. You know what I'm saying? DNA, Ooh. come holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? That's we we could definitely good ones. I'm telling you, my guy. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? But I, I did when I before we get into that. Before we get into that. Before we get into that. For for those that are unfamiliar with your work, if you would please introduce yourself to our audience, to the frenemies, you know what I'm saying, and let them know what it is that you do and what you got going on. Oh, for sure, I got you. So I'm Kuji. Um, I run a hip hop website called The Daily Note, uh, TDMForever.com. So I blog, I host hip hop shows, I curate events. Um, I'm also super big into wrestling. I like on and off for my whole life. My favorite wrestler, like growing up, was Rey Mysterio. I've been watching pretty much since that era. But because the internet, I've gone to go back and watch the Attitude Era and all like the glory days. So before you like niggas in your basement, like he'll watch a lot of wrestling. Like I've, I've done my, I've done my Googles, I've done my history, I've done my research. But yeah, <laughs> I got into wrestling around like oh four oh five ish because mm-hmm. of like Ray and obviously I love The Rock and all those guys growing up. But that's when I started watching it all the time. And definitely the last few years, I've gotten into it a lot like stronger because of social media. Like social media has made watching wrestling a lot easier. Like you can really just catch all the highlights and be like I'm caught up, and because of because of the page because of your pages because of the the what cultures like the strong rosters like it's really easy to keep up with shit even if you're at work or you're just out and about or you're on a date you can't watch Monday Night Raw because Shawty doesn't know you like wrestling yet like you get it 
Yeah, but like I got, I, I, I got a couple of calls today. I was at the job site, you know, and and I was just assuming that it was a lot of shit going on because I had three missed calls and about seven text messages about. Oh, bro! Did you see what they said about Tori and Meg? Did you see oh, the little da, 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 da. oh the gunpowder residue was on both of them? And then I'm like, bro, I am at work right now. The like, trial I- is finally today, so it's gonna be quite an interesting week for uh, oh man for Twitter. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be an interesting week. Uh, everybody has pretty much made their their own opinion up anyway at this point it's been damn near three years so <laughs> so i feel like we're gonna get long-term, to a point long-term where, storytelling oh you see <laughs> see 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 you know what that does you know what that does that outs me as not being prepared for this particular moment because i do not have a long-term booking drop in uh in our little rolodex here it's all good so uh that is something that 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 will definitely be added in because I can't be I can't be showing up, man. I can't be showing up by my guests and by people that is coming to, you know, what I'm saying fuck with us. But what I'm what I am gonna do, what I am gonna do is drop a flex bomb right now because I appreciate you for sliding through. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm a fan, man. I love what you guys got going on. I think you guys are one of the funniest pages on Twitter. Yeah, like, man. even if you don't like like I don't know, I first first and foremost, I feel bad for the people who don't understand the hip hop references that follow y'all. <laughs> But if you do, like those if you know you know tweets, that I'd be like, damn, this is really, this is it. Like, y'all got it. The black media in wrestling right now is mm-hmm. such a phenomenal thing right now, and I love to see mm-hmm. it. Like, I for real, there's so many, like, and it's so, it, it feels almost new. Like, I feel like hip-hop and wrestling have always been a thing, but right now it's, as, it's closer than ever. Yeah. Like, And, what, and what, with what? that, with hip-hop and wrestling being so close, like as of late, seeming like all of that is coming together and there's an uprising, it feels like, right? Um, you recently went to Battle Slam and yeah. you, you you got to interview the, the human wreck. Uh, you feel me? Like, what is bro's real name? I don't really know his real name, the owner of Battle Slam. You got to talk to him and like kind of get his oh, awesome. insight on what they've been doing with the promotion. Austin. Okay, cool. So- one, if I could ask two things. Mm-hmm. One, how was the show live? I don't know if that was the first one that you had been to. Uh, mm-hmm. How was it? And like, like, what do you feel like? Like, what was his perspective of, you know what I'm saying? Like being able to put on the events and kind of seeing all of this come together. So I've been to two. And uh, honestly, both both shows are great. Really, like, they pace really well. Um, mm-hmm. Like, just as just it, it's it's such a different experience for most wrestling shows because one it's like it's all black people high key it's all <laughs> like the women are dressed mad nice like everyone's like really jiggy there it smells wonderful in there too like oh shit high okay key. okay yeah, you feel me <laughs> like you know it's a safe place for us um yeah. but there's a DJ uh which is fire so they're just playing all these dope hip hop records it's in Atlanta so the energy is different but the show itself the wrestlers are incredible man uh. There's been I've, I've gone to see Chris Bay there from the Bullet Club. Mm-hmm. I've gone to see Jade Stone, who has who's like this 19 year old phenomenon. She's such an incredible wrestler. She's so young. She'll be wrestling for a year. Like they have a really great. Wow. Well, they had a little scrappy wrestle the first night I went there. And right. it, that's crazy. Which is nuts. And I don't know if you've seen him lately, but he's humongous. And he's yeah. a he's a wrestler. <laughs> like he's a he he sells well. Like he's a good wrestler. Like you can tell he's taking this shit seriously. Yeah. It's and, crazy. Um, uh, Baron had hit us, and uh, I think it was uh, the the one that Scrappy was on actually when when they had mm-hmm. their match. Baron had hit us and was like, "Yo, would y'all mind doing like a live, uh, like a live tweeting the show?" You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, "This nigga Scrappy is really good. Like, <laughs> what is who is he training with?" Nah, <laughs> he's really taking the shit seriously, bro. That's and fire. um. And the show does a great job of kind of blurring the lines of like real, like fake, because you know, like he has his like, hit, for example, like one of the shows he had is like his, his like his homies with him, and like they kind of got involved, and it felt real, and you couldn't really tell if like niggas was really squabbling high key, which is nuts. <laughs> but um, no, nah, it's a really it's a really dope thing that they got going on. I um, I got hit to it right before moving to Atlanta. I saw like their flyer, their logo is like the Dep- is a play off the Def Jam fight for New York. That's like my favorite game ever. So seeing that and just seeing like a, like not even to be funny, just seeing like a wrestling for niggas, like that's what it feels like. If it's really just yeah, like for sure. it's for us, it's by us, it's lit, man. And um, that's I crazy. really like, I really think they have the potential to do something really special. I think uh, 
I think right now wrestling is very much embracing hip hop, especially over at AEW. I talk much about AEW on Twitter, but like I love what they're doing with the hip hop representation. Like the accusation shit with Rick Ross, Kevin Gates, like even Bow Wow appearing. Like I fuck with Bow Wow. Okay, cool. So I- I'm seeing all the Bow Wow hate on the timeline, nah, nah, and it's like, nah. oh, Bow Wow, Bow Wow's not a star. Why would they? Da 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 da. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Niggas Don't is listen. nasty, bro. Niggas yeah. be hating on on, on Shad Moss, but like he ain't give us like Mike in classic albums and just great content. Like he grew up to be corny, but like let's enjoy him for what he wasn't corny. <laughs> like dog, he has he's given us such great content in time. I'm with you on that, man. You Salute to like Bow Wow. Niggas, niggas be acting like Bow Wow didn't give us hits, bro. Like he didn't give us. He's not a one hit wonder. He has hits. Bow Wow got joints, man. Like I, I think people need to slow it down a little bit and maybe recognize that Bow Wow do really got some ones. Like he dog, got some like joints. Let me tell you, my boy. Like I was in pain, in pain, trying to get baby back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely not gonna listen to Bow Wow's verse. I'll tell you that much. But oh, it's 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 more of the it's it's, it's more of the moments with him, like you know. And he wasn't. He, but speaking of the verses, he wasn't a bad rapper. Like he had a very good flow. Like you know, what I mean? like I don't know. I'm not here for the Bow Wow slander, dog. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All right, maybe, cool. maybe it's the biased '90s kid in me. Like I was. <laughs> he was a kid when I was a kid, so I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like Bow Wow taught me how to do the Harlem Shake. I'm supposed to just really? follow him now. I'm supposed yeah, to just I'm front on him now? Like he ain't dog. He gave me like Mike. We're not doing this. We're not. We're not just canceling this nigga because y'all think he's corny. And he gonna kill it in AEW. I put money on it. He's gonna be mm-hmm. hilarious. He's gonna steal the fucking show. I know it. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, cool. Well, let's 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 go ahead and get into it. What what we here to do, man? Because I, I honestly I don't want to take up too much of your time. You feel me? I appreciate you making time and coming on, and you feel me in politics and parlay with me real quick one time for the one time. But let's get to the hate. Let's get to the let's let's, let's get to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get right into it. You know what I mean? And since you are the guest, since you are the mm-hmm. guest, I will elect to throw to you and allow you to get your hate off first. I want to okay. know who's on your list. I want to know what's on your list. You don't got to tell. I don't. I, I don't know if you've got it numbered. You know, one to ten, or you know, what is the most or what is the least thing that you hate out here? You know what I'm saying? That's neither here nor there with me. I just want you to start wherever you feel is necessary. Give me one of them joints, man, and, and let me know why it is you hate that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run it back right right behind. You. All you right, back. Pause. so um, Pause. so since since this is typically a wrestling podcast i did write a lot of wrestling ones so okay. i'm gonna start with my first one this is gonna be a controversial one i don't really give a shit because i don't care i think john moxley is fucking trash and he... <laughs> yo and like i thought and, and i thought he was trash as dean ambrose so this isn't a anti-aew thing this yeah. is a long term like from jump i was like yo his finish been is like whack that. yo his look is whack he looks like He's like a poor man, stone like stone cold. Like he's like kind of an alky, kind of nah. You, His promos you don't like I, the whole. Let me yeah though. <laughs> like nah, bro. I will say though, I'm not gonna front his promos before people hit me with the nah. But he's amazing. He's amazing on the mic. I'll give him that. But as a wrestler, he's fucking whack. Watching his matches, mm-hmm. like I don't blame Brock Lesnar for not wanting to work with him. I'll leave it there. John Moxley's <laughs> trash. Y'all gotta stop trying to force i don't care that he's there every week i don't care that he's a workhorse and he bleeds and and he bleeds aew and blah, blah. i don't give a fuck he's whack bro he is whack john and then they Moxley. and then they'd be like they'd be like watch this match and i'll watch it and i'll be like they'll be like oh watch his match with daniel bryanson and i'll be like oh brian danson rather i'll watch it and i'll be like wow like he's killing it mm-hmm. john on the other hand unmotivated <laughs> looks bored <laughs> natural mjf looks bored doesn't want to be there i'm like get this bum off the cv dog yeah man he has seemed as of late uh a little bit annoyed with uh i'm assuming like how the backstage antics have affected yeah, yeah. the on-screen product and like sure. I-, I feel like he he's he he doesn't have uh like a filter that allows him to kind of like save face when he's out there doing the promos. He's like, I don't give a shit about this. This shit fucking sucks. Yeah. Regal, that fucking promo was stupid. I know we had to do it, but that shit was dumb as shit. And they're like, like, I, I, like he, he he's, doesn't... He's, he's not him, bro. Yeah. Oh, damn. He's not, him. not him, Duncan. Not him, he's Duncan. Just not huh? him. He's just not him, bro. He's not... 
Like even the even the shield is one of the illest things ever, but he was always still my just my least favorite. I'm just like, this guy's not cool, bro. Like when he became a world champion, I was like, nah, I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> I always looked at the shield, I was like, Seth's the guy, Rome is the guy. That third dude, I, I get he's an indie darling and y'all love him mm-hmm. and whatnot, but nah. Not the move, huh? Damn. Nah, bro. Nah. All right, well, AW, uh, do what y'all do, man. Give him back the little wagon. Let him drag that down to the ring again. And my man Scoogey will be like, oh, yeah, that's the guy I know. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I, I thought he was about to be on vacation for a few months, you feel mm-hmm. me? Because he dropped the title. And he's still on the TV. I'm like, dog, go away. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, get this nigga out of here, man. You feel me? So I, I can't disagree with you on him being my least favorite member of the Shield. Um, I won't necessarily go as far as to put him on my 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 hate list, but I do agree with you. Uh, more times than not, I I do think John Moxley is pretty fucking mid. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, bro. It is what it is. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh. Since we're gonna start with wrestling, I will I will double back and I will uh I will go with Brian Cage. I think Brian Cage is trash. I think Brian Cage is horrible. <laughs> you know what? Let me let let me you know what? Let me start with love. So let me let me let me bring that back, Brian Cage. I apologize. I don't really apologize, but for the shenanigans and for the for the you know what I'm saying for the sake of it. Um, I think Brian Cage is really agile. I think that uh he does really dope moves for somebody that's as big as he is, and for him to be as light on his feet as he is, um, I think that's really impressive. However, this nigga is too big to be doing all that shit. <laughs> Can't take you serious, bro. Like, you got to relax. And then you got, like, the Wolverine, like, Benny the Butcher, you feel me, Chops, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the sideburn. Like, the look has... I don't understand what his character is supposed to be. He's buff as shit. He's got a mohawk. He's got Wolverine uh, sideburns. And he's a luchador. I What the fuck is this? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't understand. Like... People like always throw little oh, Brian Cage is dope. Brian Cage is really dope. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, it's really cool that he's able to do that shit. But also, I don't. I just can't take him seriously as like. I I don't look at you as a like a um a main event threat when you're like out here doing tope suicidas and you're 320 pounds and like I, I just don't get it. I don't know. It's not for me. So what do you think of like? like Warlow and like the Keith Lees of the world who are like wild agile and like, like when Keith Lee does anything like, Mm. like when he does a moonsault or just anything remotely athletic, I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Amazing. And then he cuts a promo and then I'm turned off and I'm like, bro, just, Uh, just wrestle, I guess, please or do something. I, I feel, I feel your, your, your Brian Cage sense. I haven't seen like a crazy amount of him to like, Mm -hmm. To, but I get what you're saying. I don't take him seriously. It's wild and comfortable. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's, he's wild and comfortable to watch wrestle. Yeah, I don't like it, bro. Like let Ray Phoenix do the Ray Phoenix shit, and like, like you should be doing Wardlow type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to put the man in a box or nothing like that. I just think it looks weird. Are you? Do you like flippy floppy wrestling? Yeah, yeah, for okay, sure. Bet. I'm, okay, bet. I'm I'm with. It. I just don't want it from from people like Brian Cage. I can't say I disagree That's with you. I get it. It's my it's bad. it's definitely unique. It's it's definitely unique. And if yeah, I I can't lie though. I think when the AEW game drop, if he's in it, I think I'd use him as a character. I think that'd be a fun experience. But I get it. Yeah, uh, you know what? It probably will because his move set is dope as shit. Yeah, I just don't think. Me, it but I, I, I just don't think. I just don't think his move set his. His his character, I don't think any of that matches his actual look. Like he reminds me of the, you know, the the, the that buff ass lobster dude off of SpongeBob. Like that's uh, who I lobster? see. That's yeah, crazy. that's who I see. That's who I see when I see Brian Cage out there doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So if if hey, if there's an episode of SpongeBob out there lobster. where Larry Lobster is doing all types of 720s and you feel me? Like, hey, run that. You know what I'm saying? My way. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? It, nah, is, it is what it Larry is. Larry the lobster don't do any anything out the ordinary he just flexes and lift weight he's your typical big nigga Vince McMahon would have signed him yeah, yeah for sure he would have that that nigga's Johnny Bravo with, with claws <laughs> basically yeah so okay yeah, cool all right it's on you brother what you got what's next what's next throw, throw me one throw me one. all right all right so I'm gonna do one that isn't wrestling related at all but it, it is okay. sports related 
Okay, and, I love it. And this starts from like uh this starts from a very long time pr- like prior to the hate train. Yo, I do not like Paul Pierce. I fucking oh. hate that dude actually. <laughs> Yo, I fucking hate that dude. And it's like, it, it like before it was cool. Like before he became like an analyst, I like. Yeah. I, so I grew up in Rhode Island, so I'm next to a lot. I'm next to Boston, so like there's a lot yeah. of Celtics fans. I I don't know from a very young age. I was like, I can't stand this nigga, yo. <laughs> Paul Pierce is a bump. Like he's a good player, very yeah. clutch. Like let me not like act like he wasn't like a like a problem. He's a beast, but like, I just fucking can't stand him, dog. You ever like look, th- there's a few basketball players I can't stand, like Nicholas Batum. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really like Derek White, but Paul Pierce, it takes it to another level. I just can't stand that nigga, bro. And then he became an analyst that confirmed everything I've ever thought. I was like, I told you he was a hand ass nigga. He's a cornball. <laughs> yeah, one time he was uh, trying to say that like he was better than D-Wade. Bro. <laughs> my, my, my man, Jalen Rose just instantly Jaylen just Rose ran down him. all the accomplishments. It's like, like Jaylen what have Rose you done? Like, how are you? <laughs> Yo, and he be talking about that one championship. Like, 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 oh, like he three-peated or something. I hate Paul Pierce, dog. Yeah. Oh man, bro. And he was a bitch when it came to Ray Allen too. Matt because Ray Allen yeah. went to get another ring. Like you're a scrub. You're they don't love you like that. You ain't Kobe. Oh, they're Green. gonna Draymond. They're gonna Draymond, Draymond Green. <laughs> hit it on the head when he said that shit. I was like, yes. Nigga, you can even get a retirement tour. He's a bum. Yeah. Damn. But you know, like it's fine. I I completely understand that. Um, I think oh. I see I I think Paul Pierce has 100% turned himself into a cornball since, since he's become an analyst. Uh, but given that you're so close, you know what I'm saying, being from Rhode Island and, you know what I'm saying, you probably have a, a different perspective, of yeah. course. You know, because I'm sure there's a lot of people in that area that are like, oh, no, Paul Pierce is nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's the truth, yo. He's the truth, yo. All the buzzer beaters. I don't care. He's a bum. All right, cool. So you mentioned the truth. So I'm going to say... I don't fuck with Fat Gucci, man. Fat Gucci? <laughs> I don't fuck with Fat Gucci, man. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What does that mean? Like, I don't, like, like, like pre-jail Gucci? Like, like that whole but, run? Yeah, before he was cloned. Like, okay. before, before we got the clone, like, I fuck with the clone. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with Gucci. I fuck with Fucci. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is a rare, this is a yeah. rare one. Okay, so I can explain. I'm a Jeezy nigga, though. Ah, the, you know what I'm saying? So... Hey man, what type of nigga? What type of real nigga named himself after a bag? Nigga use a hoe with Louis Vuitton fag. I don't know. I just remember uh uh what was the joint where he was like, oh, you don't think I remember when you and your homeboy got off on all them X pills and y'all jumped in the shower together, got your <laughs> jewelry out the middle of the mall, nigga. <laughs> like, hey man. This I understand. Crazy. I understand that Gucci off one of one of one of Jeezy's niggas, but I don't know how much of Jeezy's niggas that really was. You know what I'm saying? It just it is what it is. But um, yeah, I don't fuck with fat Gucci, man. I'm a Jeezy nigga, but yeah, this this new Gucci, this new Gucci, stop the violence. You know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> love each other. You know, I'm signing everybody, and then they go to jail. That's that. Damn, why is this happening to me? You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I fucks with Gucci. I do fuck wow. with this new Gucci, not fat Gucci though. Damn, that's crazy. So like, no, like no joints for you. Like, there's never been a Gucci joint that's done it for you. Like, I mean, free. swing my door. You know, like I, I think that's one of the undeniable joints. You feel me? Like the like, truth, where he was dissing Jeezy. That's cool. Like when Lemonade came out, was you just like? At the functions he did, like, nah, fuck I was, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was this one of the niggas. Like, nah, man. This song's nigga, whack. The nigga, Big nigga, Sean nigga, version's better. <laughs> right, nigga. It, it turn, it turn on, I love it, nigga. Even though that's that was a boosy single, nigga. <laughs> I think it was in the function, like, nah, I'll play my president is black, bro. Right, nigga. I was like, nah, like, nigga, 17.5. Yeah, nigga, I said it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I needed, man. But yeah, I, I don't fuck with Fat Gucci, man. I, you I know, do apologize. It's not my no, mind. you're good, bro. I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense too because you're a Jeezy fan. I think it's yeah. like the the Jay Z Nas thing. Like my homie Bullet, he's a huge Jeezy fan, so he doesn't fuck with Gucci at all. This nigga's like, name it, is Bullet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't let you gloss over that one. Oh yeah, nah. Shout shout out to my homie Bullet. That's a, he's shout a good guy. He, he's a he's a he's a really phenomenal person. Great personality, so good guy. Is is like was he named after like a particular bullet or is it just like nah? I'm always straight to the point. You feel me? I get right he's to true. it. You feel me? They call me Bullet out here. You know, he's just. I never really asked why that was his nickname. Oh okay. But you know, like 
He a big scary looking dude with a nice personality. So like that's not my that's not my place to ask. I'm you know what I mean? I'm He's a you. good solid nigga now. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I was just wondering. <laughs> no, I yo, bro, I feel you. I feel you. You just you just he, I just wouldn't ask him why. You know, I'm just because like the two two threes, they like you know what I'm saying. They spit, they they they, they kind of flip at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, I was wondering, like, you know, like nah. All right, cool. <laughs> but I I, I get the I get the, I, especially because you're a big Jeezy fan. That makes sense. I personally love Gucci and I love Jeezy. Um, but I also lived in Atlanta like during high school, so like I saw the mixtape run like kind of mm-hmm. live direct, and I was like, oh, this is this is crazy. But I yeah. get. It. I get it. I'm not judging you, bro. I'm not judging you. They might, but I'm not. I'm not here to judge you. I appreciate you allowing this to be a safe space for me, brother. (laughs) So you know what? I'm gonna give you a a a problematic music one too. Okay. Um. So Eminem. Now, before we get there, (laughs) let me just say. Let me point out. Let me point out the good stuff because, like, because I don't want to come off as this like crazy Eminem hater. His every album up until like '04. Mm-hmm. Great, he's Fire, phenomenal right? music. Phenomenal music, like <laughs> "Sing for the Moment." It's like one of my favorite songs ever. Like okay. Eight Mile" is probably one of my favorite hip hop movies. Like mm. I will never, I will never act like he wasn't important to the culture. I, I would even, I'd even go on to say on camera that he's super important to hip hop. Definitely, mm. like one of the biggest artists ever. <clears throat> now, <laughs> however, <laughs> however. <laughs> Eminem from like post retirement, like from coming back up until now, he's been he's been very bad, and I think I think I, and he sells records, so let's get that off the way. I get it; he sells more than all my favorite rappers. I got you, got that. But the music that's just terrible. He's rapping bad. The production is terrible. Like when he makes pop songs, is bad. He he. How do you fuck up a Beyonce feature? Tell me that. How? Yeah. Tell me, my nigga. How you got a Beyonce <sighs> feature? Still make it bad. Yeah, you. You're not even from the hood. You don't even been in the trenches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Poly- yeah. That's not the. That's not the First wave. Thing. Yeah. That. That was yo, a bad record. That was. Yo, really like bad he has a plethora of just bad records. Like yo, what the f- the Marshall Matters LP two was just yo. It was terrible. Like he's making okay. very bad music, bro. Yeah. And like I feel like. His fans are lying, like, and, and they might enjoy that shit, but that's just trash, bro. Like, where is there an appropriate time to listen to that trash, dog? Wow, um, he's so he's been so bad. He's been like so a, bad. Like Gucci Man said, that, that, that's what you be doing. You be riding around in the car with your old Nigga. lady listening to Eminem. That's what you be doing, bro. What was that song, yo? He dropped a song with Kendrick Lamar, and it sounded like an old McDonald ass song. Do you it was, that it, yeah, that was the record from the Marshall Mathers LP two. So I think it was called yeah. Love Songs. Yes, Love Game, Love Game, I'm Love Game. At it now, okay, fan. So I, I, I got a, I, I have a confession. Eminem was one of my favorite rappers growing up, right? Uh, yo, you know I, he was probably every at one point everyone's favorite rapper growing up. Yeah, but at some point, I just feel like I stopped being able to relate to this man. You know, like, I feel like when I was young and I was, like, in the adolescence and I was angry and I was trying to be, like, rebellious against, like, yeah. you know, like whatever society and parents and, like, no, like, I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm sorry, mama. Like, you know, that, that was my bag, but I feel you. He definitely lost me, like, right around when he started doing, like, songs like FAC and, like... Uh, like a bunch of stupid shit with like what, what was the fucking the the triumph the stupid fucking dog, and he was doing like accents and shit. Like I'm like, yo, I, like why are you rapping in accents, bro? Like get a grip. We're we're adults now. Yeah, we're adult. Man. Like we, like yo, he's so bad. And then like you get into these debates <laughs> on Twitter with these Eminem fans. I'm like, all right, bet. So like, give me your most re- your recent favorite song because they can never they never talk about his recent shit too because they know it's trash. We mm-hmm. all know it's trash. Like. Hang it up, my nigga. You're a big, <laughs> you're a big Nicki Minaj fan, right? Yeah. So yeah, hang, hang it, it up. up. Flat screen. Uh, yeah. You already it's, know. It's time, bro. It's time. It's you already time. know. It's time, bro. It's time. Oh, it's time man. for him to hang it up and just be a family man, dog. You know, uh, there's a gentleman uh, by the name of uh, David Dennis. Uh, he's a writer. Um, he he wrote for WWE for a short time, uh, but Did he wrote uh, for the Ringer. I believe he did actually write for the ringer. If I'm not mistaken, let me let me double check. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does this nigga do? Uh, but no, he he's he's written for like a couple of like really really big publications and outlets. Uh, 
like the root. Uh, yeah, he's over at the root too. But he uh, he made a claim that Eminem has provided nothing of cultural importance. Um, like he said that the movie Drumline provides more cultural importance to to hip hop and black culture than Eminem ever has. And I said, you know what? Damn. I mean, nah. Eminem, Eminem gave us 50 cent, bro. I was just going to say like Eminem gave us gave us like he's solely responsible for the 50 cent yeah. experiment working cuz niggas was not trying to sign them. So like and that's kind of why I always lead with like I appreciate he, everything he did pre 04 mm. cuz he gave us 50 cent. That's one of my favorite rappers ever. But no, nah, I can't agree with that. He gave us 50 cent. Like he wore the free Yayo shirt at the Grammys. Like, yeah, right. You know what, you know what I mean? Like he wore just he for wore, Yayo to come home and flop. You, My bad. You, he went platinum. You know, he went platinum. I mean, the album's trash, but he went platinum. Listen, I, I was it platinum. Not nah, his first album went platinum. Look it up. I mean, bro, he had like four. I mean, features. I mean look, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's yeah. no every, way he wasn't every, going. Platinum. Everybody, everybody in GU was going platinum off of them fifty cent hooks. You know what I'm saying? Like he was spreading the love. I'm not gonna hold you. I can't even Yo, lie. Fifty was just giving a hook, joints like, here you go. I was Magic Johnson with the shits. Like, oh, you want right. you want a number one record too? I got you, gang. Right. He he. You feel me? Yes, like I got you. Me. <laughs> but nah, um, nah. Eminem's give, giving us important things in culture, like. He 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 he's a part of the Dre lineage that run. I can't like I can't disrespect him like that. O D like he's he's a, he's behind a lot of important shit. And okay. eight miles better than Drumline. Ooh, eight miles better than Drumline. Drop a flex bomb. I'm clipping this, and I'm sending it, David. You are gonna see this? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Damn. Okay. Like, do you, do you do you agree? Do you disagree? See, I don't know. Like, I. Drumline has a really special place in my heart. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, feel I love Nick. I love Nick Cannon, by the way, and I love that he said Drumline specifically because yeah. that kind of goes to the fact that Nick Cannon and Eminem have like a beef. Oh, see, I didn't even think about it. So that's nah. that's probably why he did that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I, 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 nah, I, I, I fuck. Nah, I think Eight Miles better than Drumline, though, personally. Hmm. My best friend just said I'm acting fucking crazy. So maybe maybe I just said something controversial. And I even know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Drumline over Eight Mile. Hang on, hold you. <clears throat> I feel, yo, I feel you. I feel you. But just I, the, so for the Eminem fans to know that I I do put respect on Marshall's name. Like I, hmm. I I I appreciate everything he did from '99 to '04. Everything else after that, <laughs> he just hmm. he's like right now he's just like Shaq like when he was going when he's a journeyman in the NBA he just Damn. appearing places. Shaq on the Cavs. And, yeah, <laughs> Shaq, Shaq, Shaq on the Suns. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, like Shaq was just places, and, was, and you give a fu- you gave a fuck, and it's like, nah, Shaq. Yeah, for sure. Just like, hey, man, listen, listen. If 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 this man is giving me more cheese and like wow. pepperoni to the edge, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't I can't hate on Shaq that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the pizza got pepperoni all the way to the edge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's different. It's different. Nah, I can we can I can talk for hours about how incredible Shaq is. He's he's the best. <laughs> he's the all right. Best. Well, we don't we don't want to spread too much love over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so facts. if if I could take your Eminem hate and if I could. Mm-hmm. If I could raise you all white rappers, ah, just every white, white rapper, just just white rappers in general. Damn. Okay. Why are they here? Nah, there's some nice good. There's some good white rappers. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Well, actually, Bronx is Albanian, but I, I put him in that conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, John Cena. Time is now very important. No, it's not, um, <laughs> bro. I talk. <laughs> It's let only it's up. only it's only important because of the, the let, MOP let reference. Real. Let me be yes. let me be for real. Uh, all right, Bronson, Mac Miller. Never um, got into him. Okay, okay, I can respect it. Um, logic. Drake and Drake and J Cole are both half white. We got to acknowledge and, that. And logic too. So that's the three headed monster of the we, of the biracial we got, we got biracial, biracial rappers. I'm trying as to biracial them. bars. They should be a group. Paul. C. Asheroff. <clears throat> Eminem. Mm. I, I'm naming all. Uh, I'm, I'm like I, I'm here. I'm with you. you know, nah, 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 nah. get MGK the fuck out of here. You, you like NF? Are you an NF like, guy? Ooh. I know he's more of like a gospel. 
oh, white nah. rapper thing. Uh, I'm not listening to no gospel rap around here, bro. We listen to raps about drugs, <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> fentanyl, <laughs> violence. I don't want to hear no positive raps. <laughs> I'm with you. I want to hear no raps and no positivity, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Just for that, I got to throw it to my man, Birdman. <laughs> Was bracking P Loca Bentley, nigga know the business is B Slime or G5, nigga. You feel me? I'm with you. I'm with you. Nah, okay. I, I, I might fuck with the white rapper thing because there's a lot of white rappers. I'm just like, damn, this is bad. He's trying. So I went Who's on. The Who's the worst I went, rapper? I went on a wave of boycotting white rappers, right? <laughs> I'm just thinking about a, a just, wave of boycotting white rappers. All right, so so let me tell this is I, I'm I'm gonna give it to you exactly how it happened. <laughs> I decided just one day I was just like, you know, like I I don't necessarily know in the grand scheme of things what you guys offer, you know, like, yeah, you're, you're guests in hip hop. You've done some really great things. Some of you make some really good music, but does anything change? Like how much of this thing changes with the removal of white rappers? We, we don't get 50 cents. Do we not get 50 Cent? Because 50 Cent was signed to Columbia. Um, they dropped him. When he got they shot, dropped him. He got everyone, shot. Everyone was scared. But, but he had the mixtape game on Smash. I think people were going to hear or like he was such a force. Like it was going to happen in some way, shape or form. I feel like maybe not to the level that it did. Not to the level that it did. I, because I think the white boy and the, the Dr. Dre partnership definitely catapulted him to immediate superstar. Immediate. And salute to salute to old girl in the in the Wangster video with with the G unit across the ass. You feel me? That that was real ass back then. But now you know what I'm saying everything is. I mean, like, are we just talking? Are we talking impact and music? Because like, I'm not like I don't all the way disagree with you. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Everything. I mean, okay. I mean, let's let I mean, let me take it from Vanilla Ice, Mark Wahlberg. You feel me? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I appreciate you, Marky Mark, for what you've done. You feel me? In, nah, in fuck entertainment. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> fuck Mark oh, Wahlberg. Oh, 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 yeah. You know what? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, I understand because I, I heard some things. I've read some things about about this oh, yeah, guy. Nah, so I get he was wilding back in the he day. Like, it's, it's all true, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe it. You ain't got to you ain't got to fact check it or nothing. I believe nah, all that shit. I, I believe it as well. I ain't gonna I'm here with you, dog. I'm here with you. You know what? I, feel I don't it. need him. No, but it. this this is what happened. I I decided I was going to boycott white rappers and then if I'm not mistaken, I think Mac Miller passed away. Oh, damn, that's terrible timing. For is that the boycott. same is that the same summer that Eminem and MGK started beefing? Oh shit. Um, I feel like I, I feel like that might have been the same summer that Eminem and MGK started beefing. And I was like, what what is this? Like what is happening? I, I I felt like they were taking each other out. So I didn't really feel bad about doing the boycott thing. You know what I mean? But condolences, T's and P's, of course, to Mac Miller's family. Like I, I don't really know. Course. It's not like a serious thing. But uh yeah, white rappers. Paul Wall included, man, crawling similar to like an ant because I'm low to the earth. Like he was. He was just similar to too many things for me. He used the word similar to an uncomfortable level for me. Okay. I just heard it too much. Stop. I get it. You know, out of your vocabulary. I feel it. I'm not even going to disagree with you. I. That's a good one. That's a very good one. I'm glad I made your list. All right. What what's got? next okay. for me? All right. I'm going to still keep it in the realm of music because this is just okay. a very specific. This is a specific moment because okay. like. I don't hate her per se, but I hate this moment. So for like, it was recently like the 11 year anniversary or the 10th year anniversary of My Beautiful Dark Twist of Fantasy, which is like one of my favorite albums. And fucking Fergie appears on all of the lights <laughs> and dog. <coughs> Yo, <laughs> there's no low points to that album in my opinion, but fuck, I hate that part. I hate Fergie so much. For that specific part, it's so bad. It just the song is so phenomenal. It just there's so oh much going God. on. There's so many boys. Like, like, have you seen the credits of all the lights, fam? Yeah, it's crazy. Like e everyone's on that song. Of everybody in the studio, bro. Of yeah. everyone that Kanye West had access to, he was like, "Yo, you know what would be dope if we put Fergie here?" 
This nigga had Elton John, <laughs> Rihanna on a record. He was like, yo, you know what we need to do? This is uh, this is also Kanye, too. I hate Kanye for this as well, but Fergie specifically because yeah. she did it. Mm-hmm. I hate Fergie and all the lights, bro. I feel like not enough people care about that, and I'm, I feel like I we should. It. I love it. I feel like I love we it. should. I'm with you on that. Hey, Fergie, you got to do so much. Dog. And then she did yeah, the... That she did the halftime show, uh, the national anthem, yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, this confirms everything, bro. She just be ruining everything." But let me yeah. let me put some let me put some respect on the, her debut album. That shit's a classic. Uh, I will never. I'm not gonna disrespect for like pop music and and that ever. That shit's yeah. fire. If, if if like a nigga like me likes Fergie's first album, I know that shit's mm-hmm. that shit's phenomenal music. You wasn't in it, Fergalicious Def. Yo, Fergalicious just... Glamour, that out, that out, the Duchess album, that's just, that's just, that's just phenomenal Fire. music. She gave Jack Harlow a hit. <laughs> I hate that song, but yeah, she did give it. She, she gave, gave Jack Harlow a hit. She, oh she no, no, no! I hate the song as well. This nigga like said she give it sweet, sweet, sweet semen. I'm like, bro, you said that. You said you said semen was sweet. Yeah, no, you, he's but a... you said you said you give it to her, but like I, I don't. How did you know? How you know it was sweet? Because pineapple juice, I guess. Like, that was a very unserious song. And yeah. um, but yeah, Fergie, all of the lights. Uh, it's actually I I if you search my Twitter name and t- type in Fergie, all of the lights, it's probably like a tweet like every three months, like yo, I hate this. Because every so often I listen to this album and I always forget it's about to happen. <laughs> I'm always like midway through all the lights. I'm like, why do I hate this song again? Like, what there's something that's gonna irk me, and boom, Fergie hits him. Like, yep, right oh on cue. Oh my god. I love right, this. Huge. LL, young boy better. I love this. Okay. <clears throat> We're talking all of the lights. I'm going to stay right there with you. I'm going to stay right here with you. I go listen. I hate Kid Cudi. You hate Kid Cudi? Whoa. I absolutely hate Kid Cudi. You know this let's, man. Let's, let's hear it. This man, Kid Cudi has been riding the wave of one good album his entire career. <laughs> that Man on the Moon shit was phenomenal. Okay. Everything okay. since then has been so underwhelming. Like, the best thing he's been good at since that first album is just humming. Like, like that's, that's your contribution to music. And <laughs> you want me to be mad at Kanye West for you. But honestly, brother... I'm upset with Kid Cudi because he fucking sucks, and he wastes my time. Like, Damn. I like. There's this whole thing like, oh, you, you don't like Kid Cudi, but he gave us 808s and heartbreaks. If it wasn't for Kid Cudi, we wouldn't have got 808s and heartbreaks. First of all, if it wasn't for Kanye West, we wouldn't have Kid Cudi. So don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Second of all, contri- he did contribute though a lot. He contributed. He contributed so much to that album. He contributed so much to that album, but. Let me tell you one other thing about Kid Cudi that I hate. Mm-hmm. The people that do Kid, the people that he works with that mm-hmm. do Kid Cudi things, mm-hmm. I feel like they do Kid Cudi things better than Kid Cudi does. I'd rather hear Kanye as Kid Cudi. I'd rather hear Travis Scott do Kid Cudi shit. I, I don't I don't care to hear Kid Cudi out here. I really don't. And on top of that, Lupe called you a bitch, and I believe it. I on yo Lu, Lupe's ongoing hate of, of Kid Cudi's mad funny <laughs> because it's like he, he really just do not like that nigga he does like, not at all he has never liked that nigga like ever um so I, I I love Kid Cudi I do agree though that you know he <clears throat> there's moments where he's not very good mm-hmm. and I feel like a lot of us just kind of allow it to happen because we do we love Man on the Moon one we love Man on the Moon two mm-hmm. like you know it's an attachment thing. For sure, like he, like the movie album he just dropped, I didn't even I didn't care to peep it because I just I'm so far removed from like Kid Cudi musically. Yeah, but I understand what you're saying. I get it. I get it. Like I, the internet's made an interesting point of like pointing out that how much Kid Cudi contributed, but not really. I get it. Yeah, and then on top of that, like I, like honestly, maybe I do have a bias because I feel like everybody that I fuck with don't fuck with Kid Cudi though. Like you know that like the yay thing that that's recent that just happened right but I fuck with Lupe and I fuck with Wale neither one of them niggas fuck with Kid Cudi yeah nah a lot of niggas don't really like Kid Cudi he he also ruined that Drake record too yeah I get you bro I mean I 
I fuck with Kid Cudi, you feel me? But I, I get it. Like I, I don't even think I've listened it. to that. I don't even think I've listened to that song because Kid Cudi was on it. On that, you talking about the the Certified Lover Boy record, right? The, yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not a very good record. I don't even know what it sounds like. Yo, you, you're better off never knowing. <laughs> that was, I'm not gonna make you waste your time for what? I appreciate you. I appreciate. Oh, well, I'm not you. gonna do that. So you just only gonna be like, do you like Drake? I like Drake. You're gonna be like, damn, how did how did this not work? It's very yeah. rare that Drake makes a record. They're just like, yo, I don't like this at all. Yeah. You feel me? Mm. But there's a Kid Cudi Drake song that's just not good. So I, it might just add to your your list of hate. I get it. Yeah. I don't, just to see. I, I don't even want to invest that much time into Kid Cudi to hate him more. I just rather keep my hate level for Kid Cudi at where it is. I feel you. All right, so this next one, I feel like you might get a little mad at me. Okay, let's go. As because long as you don't like, say Nikki, I'm cool. No, 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 no. I'm fucking Nikki. I'm fucking. I, I fucking Nick. Four Door Aventador is a very important song to me. Anyways, <laughs> um, yo, I'm gonna take it back to wrestling, but it co- coincides with hip hop. Yo, I fucking hate hit bro, bro. I can't do it. I don't get it. I don't like it. I don't understand it. Like. And it, it sucks because sh- I should like it. You feel me? Like, I'm literally its target audience. I don't like it. Bro. I think I think A.D. Francis is a horrible rapper, bro. I I think they dress so bad. They dress so terribly. And, like, mm-hmm. they're not really good at wrestling. And I don't understand. But here, here, is A.J. – was he the nigga that also did that show when he, when he was buying, like, old WWE shit? Yes. That shit was cool as fuck. I don't understand how he's so corny on TV and I watched him on show be cool because Hit Row is awful. I feel like it's almost like <laughs> making a mockery of niggas, bro. Like it almost feels like crime time. Mm. But at least crime time was funny. Rest in peace uh, to um, Shadow was his name, correct? Yeah, that was his yeah. name, right? I just want to make sure of that. But yeah, no, nah, I hate Hit Row, bro. Um, <laughs> AJ Francis got me blocked on Twitter too because like I said he's bad at rapping, but I ain't lie, that nigga's not good for real. <laughs> I hate, okay. I don't like it. I need triple, like, I get Triple H was like, is bringing back all the niggas Vince fired. And you know what? I love seeing black people get money. So I don't want to see him get fired or nothing. However, I do need them to stop rapping on television. I need them to stop <laughs> dropping freestyles. I need, y- I need my homies to stop sending me them shits. It's mm. not good. They need a new gimmick. Mm. They don't need, or stop rapping, dog. Oh. <laughs> the little short nigga, though, he, he, the other one, I don't know the third. Tahuti? The yeah, he cool. Like he he cool, he cool. He he did like a kip up the, on, on SmackDown the other day. I was like, oh, that was impressive. <laughs> that was cool, was right? <laughs> like I, 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 I used to do that when I was like eleven. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's all good. Like, you yeah. got it now. I was like, that's hard. I fuck with that, but nah, I don't like it, bro. Uh, it's it's terrible. It's bad. It's bad, bro. Like it's it's probably my my least favorite thing in wrestling right now. I think there's a lot of things that they could do better with the execution of that. I think there's a lot of red tape with uh, how they're being presented on television. But uh, I'm not here to uh, fend off or tell you why you shouldn't like or hate it. I do. I do recognize that what you said, like when you when you preface your statement, you said you might not like this one or like, you know, I don't want you to be mad at me. I feel like people like connect like the public enemies podcast or i don't know if it's me or what with with aj or with hit row like no 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 like that i know that's y'all guy like so uh, yeah, whatever we bit. say like i don't want it like it, does it seem that way uh i mean i got hit to them because your page so like may, maybe uh, it's just my own like my own okay 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 no no, no but own, I, I, like, I don't think it's just you not paying attention because you're not the first person that has said oh, okay that. and i'm not i'm not i'm not I'm not saying that it's not true. I fuck with AJ. No, nah, for but, sure. But um, my thing is, it's just like I'm sure he's a cool person. Just I'm sure. Oh yeah, he's a cool person. I'm sure he's yo that that WWE like uh the show he was on. I forget the name of yeah, it. That the, show was fire. I think it was the most most wanted treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, I love vintage, so I thought that show was fire. Yeah. So when I finally see him in action, just doing this thing, I'm just like, oh, this mm-hmm. is this is this ain't it. Yeah, and you know, like okay. I, I let it marinate, and I was like, "Cause maybe I'm here." But I was like, "Nah, right. other people, other people feel this too." Like, <laughs> it's like no, no. I feel validated now. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Because the I homies, the homies think it's trash too. So I'm like, "I right, bet, bet." Like, cause you know, I, I be hating. I be, I do be hating, but you know, I don't like it. I fucks with Hit Row. I think that uh, I just think that WWE gets in the way of a lot of things that they are trying to do, and I, I believe it. I honestly yeah. do. 
but that's that's probably because I'm also privy to a little bit more information. But that's neither here nor there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I like okay. what Swerve's doing in the AEW though. Like, like, I won't yeah. gloss past that either. Um, I like what you got going on. He's cool. I like what Swerve is doing over there too. Yeah, I just had. I can't talk about them without the other low key. Mm. Like it's it's a thing. Because I, I mean, he's there. not hit row anymore though. Yeah, but you but you get me. It's like when you talk about you. Dean Ambrose, you're still and you're like, oh, right. Roman it's still like the shield. also champion. It's like you right. know, we just keep up with the click. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, I like that. Um, okay. Uh, so do I want to take it back to wrestling? We can. All right, cool. This guy Claudio Castagnoli Cesaro, whatever you want to call this uh, nigga. Uh, this nigga's a bum. Uh, a whole wow. bum, a bum no and a way. half. Oh, like he's crazy. a whole, he's he's a bag of bums. Like this nigga is trash beyond measure. Okay, like at wrestling. No, no, or... no. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. This this is how, this is how I watch pro wrestling. Right. Okay. I'm not one of these people that only care about matches. Okay. Right. I feel like to be a good professional wrestler, you have to be good at an abundance of things. I feel that. I feel like if you want to be an amateur wrestler and you want to be over there, you feel me on the mat with the one count and and you spend your fucking headset, you feel me? You do all that shit. You rock out. You go crazy, bro. You do your thing. But if you want to be a professional wrestler where your job is to put asses in seats and your job is to sell me on fake fights, mm -hmm. I need you to be able to sell me on fake fights. Okay. If you're only good at wrestling. That's great, but I feel like I can get that anywhere. The problem with Cesaro or Claudio is the fact that he's really, really good at wrestling. Okay, but as, but as, long, as long as we acknowledge that. No, of course we can acknowledge that, but what else is he good at? Does he make you excited for, for matches before they happen? Or is it just because you know that he's going to get busy when the bell rings? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just had a whole program with Chris Jericho. That was so convoluted, and there I honestly don't know why he's the one that beat Chris Jericho based on the story that they were telling. Yeah, but I'm assuming that's because Tony Khan couldn't get a deal for the for the show. But <clears throat> this man can speak five or six different languages, and you're telling me he can't cut a promo? Yeah, no, I agree. He's, his promo work's not good, and I love I love. Cesaro Claudio, I like as a rep, like I fuck with him, and I was I'm, I was one of those guys. I was like, nah, push him, but I get it. Vince was you, Vince is right. Vince, Vince is right. was right. He doesn't connect yeah. with the audience. I don't know, maybe because he's Swiss. Like like that that was that was your like that that was horrible. But like I mean, honestly, he's not connecting in in the way that uh, a top star should or would yeah. or can. Um, they've tried so many different ways, and 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 by they, I mean the whole fucking industry. He was a, a tag team with with, with uh, you know, what I'm saying Chris Hero. He came to WWE. They put him with Oksana. They put him with Zeb Coulter. They put him with Paul Heyman. They put him with Jack Swagger. They put him with fucking Tyson Kidd. They put him with Sheamus. They put this man with I, William Regal. And the, the Sheamus shit was good. Sheamus shit was fire. Salute to the bar. You feel me? I'm yeah, with you. you feel me? Go come crazy. On, come on. However, however, like if they've done all of this to 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 repackage and not necessarily, maybe not even, actually, yeah, repackage. This nigga came in as a rugby player. Then he mm -hmm. was the weedy American niggas, mm -hmm. and then now he's the he, he, he was a uh, what the, was he? The James he was Bond the, situation. Boom. Yep, the Terminator, the James Bond thing, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like dog, like they've done everything with this man, and none of it has worked. The only thing that has worked is people taking up for him. It's like, no, 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 no. But he get busy. You know how you be doing uppercuts? I ain't never <laughs> seen nobody throw no uppercut like that, man. Like he does get busy though. He he go give you a great match every time. And I guess I I get, but I, I'm with you on the, on everything else. He just he's not interesting. I think he's the opposite of like that thing, like because we we did an interview with with my man uh, Shug D, and mm -hmm. I think uh, and he was Pineapple Pete when he was in the AEW. So Sugar Dunkerton, for those of you who don't know in the Indies, but uh, when we talked to him, he said he said something that has stuck with me for like the last year and a half. It's just everything that you do in this business is well and good, however. At some point, that bell got to ring, and you got to be able to do work. Mm. I feel like 
Cesaro is the exact opposite. Like at some point, <laughs> you got to be able to deliver in these other fields or these I get it. other. Like he's not checking boxes for me, dog. He's not out here checking boxes, and I think that's a problem. So yeah, a bag of bums, man. <laughs> You know, you acknowledge he's a great wrestler. And that's all that matters to me. I get everything else though. I that's a good one. I've seen you. I've you. Were, I've seen you talk about him on Twitter too. And I always want to ask. So I'm actually glad you said that. <laughs> um, it sucks. I raise you, Cesaro, Claudio. Yo, I don't like Sting, nor do I like Darby. I don't. I don't like them separate. I don't like them together. I don't get it. I almost muted your mic, sir. You don't like Sting. Uh, He's cool. Like, for real. Like, he's mm. cool, bro. Like, you know, like, he ain't, like, I know, I know, like, I see people, like, trash him. I don't agree with all that, per se. But, like, I just don't think he's interesting. Like, at all. Like, I'm just, the allure has, and, yo, he, it's, it's a lot of it, do, it has to do with the fact he's old as shit, bro. Like, I just don't. He's old as shit. He is old yeah, as shit. Yeah, like, like, I remember thinking he was old as shit in TNA. You know what I mean? I remember being yeah. a kid and being like, this is this is okay. Okay, okay all right. But he could still go, but like, yo, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I really don't like Darby, bro. I don't know what the fuck it is. I really, I don't, I don't get it. I really mm. don't get it. There's so many more flippy floppy wrestlers that just do it way better. I don't think he's cool on the mic. I think his face, face pay is whack. I think he's kind of like an off-brand Jeff Hardy. Like, I don't know. He does mm-hmm. nothing for me. He takes bumps. Like, that's cool. But so does Spike Dudley. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I mean? like, I, I, like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't. He's not a pillar. We got to stop acting like he's a pillar. He's just not. He's not. <laughs> he was off TV for weeks. And I even noticed. He's not. I think this man has a death wish. Um, yeah. I hope. I hope to God that Tony Khan has a clause in Darby Allen's contract to whereas, Hey, you, you out there doing all them stunts with the X games and all the jackass boys and Travis Pastrana and all of them. If you get hurt, <laughs> you better believe I ain't paying you. bro. <laughs> nah, he prop. There's no way he doesn't have that. There's the gotta be, be a on, clause. The shit he be doing on television. Tony Khan's going to pay for that, bro. No matter what. I just feel like, bro, especially not- how nice I, we hear Tony Khan is. Yeah, you feel me? See, I get it, but I'm like, bro, I just, I just hope that Tony Khan is like, at like some point, like smarter than like what <laughs> we perceive, like him, Maybe. like I don't want him to be a doormat. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like, bro, yeah. If you get hurt in the ring, yeah, well and good, of course. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You on my supervision? You feel me? You in my incubator? But. When you clock out, my nigga, I ain't ask you to go out there and, and, and jump off this big ass ramp and try to do a backflip. You know what I'm saying? I think with that's the, just more interesting bike. than his wrestling. Oh yeah, for sure. It for Yo, sure. Like, um, yeah, like go, go, go be in uh go be in the jackass movies, go be in them shits. Tesla oh. needs crash test dummies. You feel me, bro? Go 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 do that elsewhere. Get off. Like, I don't want to see that nigga wrestle. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> and like he's with Sting, and that makes me not like it even more because I just, y'all, I just hmm. like, I remember niggas was like championing that the Sting and Undertaker match. I remember I was one of those kids, like, yeah, no, nah, I would love to see that. Then I really go back and watch Sting matches. I'm like, this nigga's not fucking with Undertaker. What are you talking about right now? This nigga's not fucking with him, bro. Get out of here, dog. This nigga's not, he's just not him, dog. All the cool ass wrestlers in WCW, so yeah. you want me to believe Sting was that nigga, bro? When Goldberg's over there doing Sting cool was that shit. Nigga, man. He was like the first cool. John Cena, bro. Bro, nah, that nigga is not. See, I'd see, Sting, I'm, hey, man. Sting's not wavy. Fuck it, man. Fuck Sting, man. That's that was my nah. first favorite wrestler, and I, I I can't I can't. But hey, we're here to hate, so fuck it. You feel me? <laughs> fuck it, yeah. You um, feel me? Okay, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. All right, so I'm gonna go with Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Why? The reason I'm gonna go with Ryan Seacrest is because. I think Ryan Seacrest is just one of those like always perfect people that I'm just waiting for something like bad to come out of it. Like I know nothing negative about this man. I'm sure yeah, like he wakes up in the morning, does meditation, feeds the neighbor's dog, 
You know what I'm saying? Like calls everybody's grandma, make sure they got a ride. You know what I'm saying? Nah, to, I, don't, to, I don't think he does any of that shit. I just feel like he does. I don't think he does any of that shit. He probably doesn't. He's probably an asshole in real life, right? But I just feel like when I see this man on television, there's there's not a hair out of place. There's like he's just always super clean cut, and it's just always oh Ryan Seacrest got a new job. Oh Ryan Seacrest made a new investment. Oh did you know Ryan Seacrest was over here doing this and this hosting gig? Did you know he was on this red carpet over here? And 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 honestly, I just I just don't fuck with Ryan Seacrest. And you know if what? I could I respect it, if I could take it a step further, oh shit. I don't fuck I don't fuck with Terrence J. Because I think Terrence J is Ryan Seacrest in disguise. Oh, nah. He's definitely like, you know, like black like, sign, Ryan Seacrest for sure. You know, like just definitely less interesting, I guess. Yeah, you feel me? And it's like, we still don't know who was in the car with you when you got in that accident and you spin moved on your little bitch. You feel me? Like you had somebody else in that car and it's none of my business. It's neither here or there. I just <laughs> noticed that it's never been spoken of. I forgot about that. Now he's on E! News. They made that shit disappear with the quickness. He's not That's really important. Right up under he's me, not man. really not important enough for where we were like, because I forgot about that shit. You, you just reminded me. And he got to stand next to Roxy Diaz for years. You feel me? Like, I ain't he never is. got to stand next and to her. And he used, to, he used to shit on her, too. Yeah. He used to me? shit on her. He was mad mean to her. And I feel you. I fuck with the Terrence J agenda. I and I feel like his teeth on, are too perfect. I think he got me blocked on Twitter, actually. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, no, I fuck with it. That's such a, that's such a random one, but I fuck with it. Yeah. I don't fuck with Terrence J. Or Ryan Seacrest, for that matter, because I also feel like they're the same person. It's like you, you know, like the uh, the Scooby Doo shit, where it's like, yeah. oh man, it was him all along. You feel yeah, me? I feel nah, like I you could just that. unzip this nigga's face. You know what I'm saying? And it's boom, it's Ryan Seacrest. It's like, oh damn, why, nobody knew this. I believe that's his like nephew in some weird way. They're connected <laughs> that's hella somehow. funny. They're for sure they're like the six degrees of separation or yeah, some shit. I'm with you. I, like, I agree with that. Like Ryan Seacrest is like cousin coached him. <laughs> Back in sixth grade and saw <laughs> the some weird shit, yeah. Yeah, because they man. are they're they're way more alike than like than I just realized. Because like I'm gonna come clean. I, I forgot about Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, man. Fuck but that. yo, I feel it. Um, play with voice. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got one. So this one like pertains to wrestling, but I hated mm -hmm. her prior too. Yeah, I don't like Ronda Rousey, bro. I'll fuck oh, Ronda okay, Rousey. okay. Uh, you don't uh, even like the uh, the the one thirteenth of her that's supposedly black, or nah. like Native American or something. Nah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck around to Rousey, bro. Like, yo, she's just so wild. Like, she was cool in the UFC. Like, I'll give her her flowers there. I'm never gonna mm -hmm. like disrespect people for that for for that. But like, then she got washed twice, and then I just feel like you come over to this wrestling thing, you kind of shit on it, which is whack. And like you're just very unmotivated, and you just automatically just like for all the wrestling reasons. But like even the UFC, I'm like she's whack. She mm -hmm. got knocked out and just had no type of like. At least Connor tried to like get a comeback going. At least Connor tried to make it right. seem like at least he tried to bounce back. Like, I'm trying. Like, nah. You feel me? She's like, nah, I was the best for a long time. I'm good. Let me do so. Let me like, let me get some paper over here. I'm just like she's whack. She's super okay. whack, and she's a terrible wrestler. I hate her attitude. She's unfunny. I don't like her face. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just don't like her. She looks like she's a Karen. She'd be having terrible ha haircuts. Like the makeup doesn't crazy. work for yeah, me. Yeah, nah, I don't fuck with Ronda Rousey, bro. I don't uh, fuck with her at all. Okay. Like at all, bro. And because of that, I don't like Shayna Blaze, unfortunately, because she just connected to her. <laughs> you guilty by association. Yeah, I'm man. just like, nah, you chill with her. Therefore, you whack as fuck. She's whack. <laughs> I can't, she's I can't disagree with that. And I mean, now that like, oh, and now that I've seen celebrities come in and body this shit, I'm just like, no, you're whack because you're actually like a trained athlete. She's a dog. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason why Bad Bunny and Logan Paul should be out here crushing it. And you feel me? like you just like have no type of connection. Like, I, I don't know, man. You're like a trained athlete. You're an actual athlete. Like you should be able to body this shit or at least give a fuck. She got the John Moxley uninterested, uninterested shit going on, yo. I don't fuck with it. I don't like Ronda Rousey. She's bad energy. You can just tell. The, the, yeah. It's the juju. We don't, we don't yeah. like that bad juju. Yeah. Me, fact, I there. also feel like she I feel like she also smells weird. I've always <laughs> thought this. I've always looked at her and I feel like I feel like she smells mad weird. Like some people just like wet dog. Like yeah. Like, how do you... like a little 
like, like, but like sweat too, because she be like working out OD and shit. Like, I don't know. I just feel like she smells mad weird. That's crazy. Okay. I don't, I've oh, always thought this. <laughs> um, I don't fuck with Jack Black. Yo, neither do I. Okay, I cool. Jack, Thank you so I'll much. Fuck, That's what the I'll fuck, fuck I'm Jack talking Black about. At all. Jack Black is fucking trash. Like nice. all these people, are, they be like, like this nigga's supposed to be funny. Like why? Because he's like fat and supposedly like adorable. Nah. Like fat people are like like uh like what's the what's the thing like uh fat people are the jolly. Like, yeah. The and, jolly. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know like what what it is, but like every time like I I just don't get it. Like it, it never worked for me. The tenacious I D shit, you. the school of rock shit. I just how you that shit has been funny. Movie. Nacho wrestling? Libre, bro. Like, Just what? Trash. What are you doing, bro? Like, I don't nah, know. Nah, Jack Black is absolute trash. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, man. He got so he got no slappers. I don't it's care what great. y'all say. Stop talking to me about School of Rock. That shit's not that great. It's not great. It's not. Yo, great. He has he has no slappers. He has no slappers. And, and he did that movie. Good. He did that movie with the, with the what is it, Jumanji? I, I don't like what they did to Jumanji, man. I don't. Nah. Yo, yeah. Jack 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 Black's not it. I, yo, I'm with you 100. percent I'll fuck, yo, that's like one of the few actors that I just like. I'll fuck with this nigga. Fuck him, we ball. I'm with you. Yeah, okay, cool. I feel like he does voice animation probably well though. Probably yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, yeah, I'm I get that. like Kung Fu Panda cool. Kung Fu I'll, Panda's I'll cool. That. I'll give my him daughter that. loves it. He, yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Like I don't know if my son likes it actually. I'm asking. Let's see what happens. Yeah. But like besides that, like he got no slappers. He does nothing for me. I feel you. I'm I'm, I'm with, with you on the Jack Black train. I feel you, okay. my nigga. That nigga is, okay. he's contributed nothing to me. Nothing, bro. My bro. It's all out of here. Trash. Um, yo, so I I don't fuck with Boosie, bro. I oh Boosie. I don't fuck with Boosie at all. Okay. I uh, um, I need to hear this one. Um, I just think he's a terrible human being. Like, let's start okay. there. I feel, uh, like, I just think he stands for, like, really terrible shit. I think he talks mad shit. I don't think musically he's as important as niggas deem him to be. He has some important records. I'll give you that. Like, Wipe Me Down and Independent and, you know, like, the, the Hood Classics and Mixtape Classics. And sure, I guess. But then niggas be acting like he's fucking, like, like, I don't like that nigga, bro. Every time he <laughs> speaks, I'm just like, yo, shut the fuck up, pussy. Like, like I hate the way he tweets. Like, mm. certain like shit. Yeah, nigga, I, I agree. I don't like anything about that nigga, bro. And like, and like, this is pre even pre like his comments or like the homophobic comments. Like, he just be talking mad shit. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. Care. And you know, he can't he pronounce like, economy. Bro, he just, he's not, he's not good at rapping. He's not, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, niggas, like, no, no classics. I don't care what none of y'all say. I get he's important to, like, where he's from musically, but nah. Boosie's not a legend. He's, I don't like that nigga, bro. Stop giving him attention. Stop asking him questions. Damn, is that what we doing to Boosie? I'm fucking Boosie, bro. Every time he opens his mouth, I'm like, this is why I don't like this nigga. I don't fuck with Boosie like that either. I'm not for the cap. Like I, I think like, like uh some of his Please. music was cool, but like I like I don't like, how many too. how many albums has he dropped since he yeah. got out of jail? Like, you know, a classic Boosie album. Yeah, the, like no Boosie like, is no. like literally just like a at this point, he's kind of just like a personality. I think. I yeah, like. but he's like somebody like needs cool to give him a reality show, I guess. I don't know. I think that's what that's what he's going for. Like he probably, somebody he probably get a podcast pocket. I can see him getting his podcast. I can see that. I can see it that. Probably, it'd probably get canceled within four episodes because he's a terrible human being. Yeah. He's a terrible fucking human being. Seems I've to be a dad, though. So there's that. He seems to be, I mean, shit. I mean, hey, bro. Like, if, hey, listen. I would have appreciated my father if he would have got me some head at 12, too. Would you? I mean, in the moment, yeah. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. Years later, I'd probably be like, I, I, you look I back and that think that's right. like trauma, my nigga. That's trauma. That was traumatic, right. low key. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's done it with multiple of his sons too. No, like, I remember that. That's <laughs> yo, bro. He just does terrible things. He just yeah. does terrible things. Him and Ti, bro. Ti is also like, like, he be breeze passing a lot of the weird, terrible shit that he be doing too, because mm. he speaks okay. well. But bo- this is about Boosie. <laughs> This is really this is mainly about Boosie. Just because the man can speak very well. Like, yeah, because he be using big words. They be like, oh no, he's a, he's a, he's a good person. Like, nah, that nigga's fucked nah, up, bro. Man. He be doing some wild fucked up shit. 
Okay. And just saying a lot of weird things. But yeah, Boosie, I don't nope. Okay. Um you got, I've got no. I've got just a few more here. Say Eli Manning. Don't fuck with Eli Manning. I'm a Patriots fan, so I feel you. Fuck that nigga. Don't like I'll, him. I don't fuck with none of the Mannings, really. I like him yeah. since they retired. They're funny on like TV, but I fuck them. They got their little show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They watch the they, games, and then yeah. they're like the Pro Bowl's already trash, but now they're like the team captains of the Pro Bowl of uh, this this upcoming one. You feel me? Like I think that's gonna be horrible, but it is what it is. I think they should just get rid of it, honestly. Um, but for me, man, Eli, bruh, I just you know what it is? It's his face. Okay. I just don't like his face. Okay. And then also, his football IQ is extremely high. Okay. I just feel like uh, Eli Manning is like one of those, like, um, like an idiot savant. Like he's terrible at pretty much everything in life. But those one to two th- things that he's good at, phenomenal. Like, like. It's just, I just don't. I don't know, man. I seen. I seen this man do a fit check. I seen him do a fit check. <laughs> it was like, yeah, man. Like, what's what's up with your sweater vest? You know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, <laughs> it's got pockets, keeps okay. me warm, and then okay, okay. also like, uh, everything that I wear is just like, uh, uh all golf, all golf. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All golf gear at any point. In the day or in life, whatever That's I'm wearing, if somebody wants to go golfing, I'm ready. You know, I'm like, okay. That's trash. But that's just like an ultimate, like, super white person thing to do, you know? Like, like mayonnaise sandwiches and shit like that. Okay, y'all do y'all thing. Um, like I said, yeah. I'm a Patriots fan, so I don't fuck with Eli Manning. Um, so I hear you. I just don't think I fuck with Eli's, because I don't fuck with Eli Apple either. Mm. I don't fuck with the book it? of Eli. I hate so that it's movie. Eli. And so it's an Eli thing now. I got an uncle named Eli. I don't really fuck with that nigga. <laughs> Damn, this is like deep rooted. I feel you. Yeah, nah, I put him like on the hate list. Personal. Nah, fuck, yeah, put him on the hate list. Right there, fuck boom. Like with a fucking bullet. Shout out, shout out the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he fucks with Eli Manning either. He a Cowboys fan, so I don't feel like he fuck with him either. I don't know. Nah, man. Nah, nah. It's a, it's a divisional thing. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> I feel it. All right. I got um, I got Justin L.A. boy. I, it, it's it's time for y'all to grow up and stop reposting the shit, bro. <laughs> that nigga be stealing. Enough is enough. Enough is a fucking enough. All right. Like he's not interesting. Like it's like he's not even tweeting funny shit. Like grow up. All right. Like I'd rather these niggas like repost shade room shit at this point. Like yo, it's like it's just corny. Mm-hmm. Like the second someone reposts Justin LA, I'm just like, yep, I know everything I need to know about you. We can never be friends. <laughs> okay. It's time. It's time to grow the fuck up. It's time. It's time that we just let like we you you know that meme on Twitter when it's like a girl stepping into the new year. Like let's just oh, leave yeah, this sure. nigga here. Let's leave <laughs> this. I've, I've been seeing him less and less too. You feel me? <laughs> That's why I'm like not as passionate about this one because like I feel like yeah. it's like his demise is starting to happen. I feel like, like you know, like oh, after the Kanye funny. West thing, I've seen him less and less. Like people, <laughs> girls still repost him, and you know, niggas who want to impress bitches, I be seeing it, but less and less. So like, hopefully, yeah, he had that show on Revolt. I don't like. I don't see that no more. Like, nah, they, because like you gotta understand that like he's just a, an internet nigga so like when you put him in front of a camera he's not cool nor funny or jiggy like he's just not like at least academics is fucking funny yeah academics is fu- oh bro that nigga is like, hilarious we can talk all the shit we want about academics and i can say a lot of bad things about academics i can say a lot of things i think is weird and i i definitely look at him sometimes weird but yeah i think it's fucking hilarious like at least he's fucking hilarious and he just knows everything that nigga is funny as shit like if he says some shit i'm like nah academic confirmed it yeah, he, he, <laughs> nah, nah, he said it. He, he said, said it on that the stream. Shit. I heard it. Really I, like, heard I, that shit. I didn't gotta believe it. it, was, yeah, it was nah, academic facts. Too. He's like, there. he's like Black TMZ. Like, if a rapper die, I'm like, I'm gonna check academics page. Nah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. So, like, at I'm least he's that. contributing something. But like, nah, LA boy, he gotta go. <laughs> you gotta fucking go. You gotta go. We okay. gotta stop giving that nigga attention. We gotta stop reposting this shit. He does steal. Like I, I be forgetting about that. He be stealing mad tweets from like the yeah. homies that I know personally and shit. Like be like, for what? Like you, just, you can't just retweet them. Like you have the power to just retweet them. 
Like he's that nigga be like, no screenshot, crop, post. Get him the fuck out of here, bro. Get him the fuck <laughs> he gotta out of here. Go. Get the fuck gone. Okay, I'm with that. Um, what do I have left? What do I have left? Amanda Seals. She, that's um, she was on the View. Yes. And she was an insecure as well, correct? And she was an insecure. Yeah, a lot of people don't, don't really like fuck her. With her. Yeah, no, nah, a lot of like people her. don't really fuck with her. She's loud and wrong a lot. And she's, yeah. I, I also feel like she's one of those women that rush to blame the black man for shit. Or it'd be like, oh, well, this would be so much different if niggas would just, <laughs> or if niggas would just. And I'm like, okay, but. Is what you specifically? If you would just shut the fuck up, <laughs> and I don't know, make sure your house is in order. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't think she's. I don't think she's funny. I've I've seen her for Neither years. I. I remember. I remember seeing her. Uh, uh, shit. What is that show that she was on? She used to be on a show on Nickelodeon that I just happened to like catch one day, and I was like, oh shit, really? nigga, that's Amanda Seals. I did uh, not know that. My brother and me. If you ever heard of my brother and me, she's on. She's on like a couple of episodes of that. I interviewed. Is that like an uh, old? Kenny. Is that like an older show? Yeah, that's like a like a like a mid nineties Nickelodeon show. It's all black people. Oh, it's like a, it's like a black okay. family. You feel me? Okay. okay and okay. Uh, Impact Wrestling's Kenny King was on that show. What? Uh, yeah, and I I interviewed him, and we had to go back and get the clips from the show from the episode that he was on, so we could talk about it. But oh, uh, she was also on that show, so oh. I just I just I just know that she's been around for such a long time, and it's like at some point I just I want her to shut the fuck up. You know what? Though it seems know. like a lot of people don't really like her, though. That's that's kind of been yeah. the common theme I've seen. I don't think Issa Rae fucks with her either. Damn. Like after the whole, yeah, so like maybe maybe it's her thing. You, do you watch Atlanta at all? I stopped watching Atlanta. I like okay. I didn't stop watching Atlanta. I well, okay. So Atlanta taking that break and the the pandemic kind of pushing everything yeah. back did turn me off to the shit. It was just like, damn, like I'm not necessarily as interested. I have not watched the final season yet. I am so caught up on pretty much everything else, but I have not watched the final season yet. There's an episode uh with um it's like a family episode and one of his aunts reminds me of amanda seals if you ever watch it you'll understand the reference is in the final season i presume yes it is in this last season okay it's like a family episode where Ern and his mom it's hilarious and she basically is like i know why y'all don't like me because i'm light-skinned and like amanda seals gives me that energy <laughs> i'm with that <laughs> I wouldn't say I hate her, but I def she definitely does nothing for me. So I feel you. Okay, cool. There we go. Amanda it. Seals. Bye bye. All right. Um, looking at the. I think I got like two more left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So the, my last two are wrestling ones. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the one that you'll probably just be like, yeah, I agree. Hulk Hogan. But like, it's deeper than the whole like the whole racist comment. It's deeper than that for real. <laughs> like, it's like even pre that, I like he's just never like. Never did it for you? Nah, I just always thought he was trash in the ring, yo. Like, I'd watch this nigga wrestle. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? He wasn't... Like, like <sighs> nah, none of no. that shit. Like, I always just thought other niggas was cooler. And it, it's definitely, like, an age thing, like, for sure. Because yeah. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't see him in his glory days. I didn't, you know, like, by the time, like, I start, I was watching wrestling in and out like, Hulk Hogan was on TV, but I already knew who The Rock and Stone Cold were. Like, I just thought oh, other yeah, niggas were sure. way cooler. Way better than this nigga. Like, way <laughs> cooler and like like i remember even at a young age seeing his like the leg drop and being like for real like this is niggas think this is wavy even though i like the people's elbow like yeah. i guess that's hypocritical of me but whatever i just think hulk hogan's whack bro he got no slappers like he got i watched the andre the giant match on youtube when i was like eight and i was like this is trash trash and this is before my wrestling my like my rest like, like <laughs> before that shit kicked in right <laughs> you know, this before I was, so I, like, I was just, like where I'm at now, I'm sure if I watch it now, I'd be like, oh, this is stupid trash. But like, yeah. I just never got into it. Going back, you know, the NWO shit was cool. I'll give NWO its flowers. That that stable was mad cool. They used to do whatever the fuck they wanted. Like, the merch was wavy. Like, t he has the illest heel turn. I'll give him that. Because I can only imagine, like, being in love with him and then watching that heel turn. Like, that shit would have broke my heart. Yeah. 
I figured fuck me, with a I, lot of kids. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck with him. And I, and I still was like, damn, that's crazy. He joined these niggas for the WWF. That's crazy. <laughs> but I say that to say, besides that, nah, he's trash, bro. Like, he's that nigga's contributing nothing to me. Like, not like there's so many niggas who are better than him. Like, there's so like, bro, like, like John Cena, bro. Like, yeah. You want to talk to me about some Hulk Hogan? Well, this nigga John Cena on TV rapping. Nah, bro, we're not doing this. The throwback song every week. Bro, <laughs> you know come saying? on. He was in the Marine, nigga. <laughs> like, we're not doing this. <laughs> nah, Hulk Hogan's whack, bro. Even no, niggas in his you. era were just cooler than him. Yeah. Like, Macho was Man was dumb ass swaggy. Yo, them niggas was Stupid. way cooler. Like, like all no. the niggas was way cooler, bro. Like, you mean to tell me that nigga was the one? Nah, bro. Just because he has some bum ass colors on. No, I, I'm uh, with you because like, nope. and and even to your point about like the people's elbow versus like the leg drop, I I, I can't even fuck with that because it's like you got to think like he didn't do nothing cool before the leg drop. He just did the leg drop. You feel me? Like he ain't throw an armband into a crowd or some. some you feel me? Some Gucci shades, some Ray Bans or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't do no. Uh, uh, uh. You feel nothing. me? He ain't never slide on some. You know what I'm saying? Some some Steve Maddens or nothing. You know, like nothing. he ain't do nothing. Like he ain't had a Stacy Adams on. You feel me? I stay nothing. On point like Stacy. That nigga just did a leg drop, nigga. Like, bro, I ain't trying to see none of that shit, bro. The Rock had all that shit down. Like at least yeah, at least with the people's elbow, the shit was theatric. It was like, oh, what's yeah, this nigga about me? to do? Oh, he's right. really he he gonna throw the help, like he gonna throw the pad at us. Yeah, he, it, he mentioned the slide. He gonna fuck around and do the slide on these niggas. Like at least it was cool. Nah, Those my nigga, he 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 he's he a, did extra oh. with the he did extra with oh. the people's elbow, my nigga. Like oh. I'm doing all of this, and then I'm running to the ropes, and then I'm jumping over you. You feel me? Like 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 you feel me? Like Iverson and Ty Lue. I, I did you like Iverson and Ty Lue, nigga. Like I'm jumping right over you, and then I'm coming back. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga Hulk Hogan. Um, what else I got? Okay, so I have. I have B Simone. That's the girl Can't that don't shower. Do. That's the girl that don't shower. But even yeah. before her not showering, I just was not rocking with her. Like she has uh like 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 a couple of like cosplay videos where she's like redoing like Aaliyah videos. Like she did the like the, the rock the bow. Like that sounds awful. With the like with the swoop over her face. Like she was like really like. I'm Aaliyah right now. Like, I feel like somebody told her she looked like Aaliyah one time and she just went with Be it. Simone? Like, like on some Zelina Vega shit. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't understand why. But yeah, B Simone. I, I, I she has a podcast as well, right? This is how we found out that she doesn't shower. She decided to offer that up on mm-hmm. her own platform. Nobody asked yeah. her for that information. She just said, hey. Yeah, I don't really know like a like a lot about her. I feel like every so often she's on the timeline for doing some ridiculous shit, and I'm always like, "Oh, she seems corny," but her voice is really annoying too. So I'm with you. Yeah, her voice is really annoying. She uh, wrote and like sold this manifestation book. Yeah, she did that shit. Yep. yep Which yep. I do believe the contents of said book were stolen, and also the quality that she was presenting and sending to people was less than less than lackluster. It no, was she's like a scam, she's a scam artist, bro. For sure. sure. And that's what it is. I think that's I what it is. I don't like scam I only know I only know negative shit about her. So I feel you. Yeah. Does she look I don't, good? I don't I mean she's she's fuckable. Let me look her up real quick. But I mean, like, plain, I, I genuinely do not know like what she looks like if she walked. But honestly, right like now, with the with the voice, I don't know if I could take the voice with like you right. know just being around that all the time. But yeah. Oh it's yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, nah, I have seen it. No, nah, she's alright. Cool. Yeah, she's alright. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just not a sensational. It's just not sensational. I feel it. No, I feel it. She definitely seems annoying though. So I understand. I do. One hundred percent annoying. All right, so my last one. I'm gonna end off okay. a wrestling one. Um, yeah, I don't fuck with Bret Hart. Ah, my guy. Okay, I'm, okay, okay. I don't fuck with Bret Hart, bro. Air horn for Bret Hart, man. I don't fuck with Bret Hart, bro. Like I don't. Yeah. And you, and this is definitely because I'm like a biased Shawn Michaels guy for sure. But it's deeper mm-hmm. than that. Like, 
he's a great wrestler. He's super technical and he does all the things correct. And he makes people look great. But like, I don't give a fuck. He's boring. Like, he's so boring, bro. He all he does is fucking complain. All he does is fucking whine. He's a hater. Get over the Goldberg thing, my nigga. It's time. It's been years. I get it. It's time. Get over it. But like, yo, like I watch his matches, these these star studded classic matches that wrestling people put in their top fives. I'm like, <laughs> it's just boring, bro. It's just wild. <laughs> Like, come on, why they like scoop then, slam, like, atomic yeah. drop, knee Perfect off the rope. Cool. Like, nah. Come on, bro. <laughs> There's bad bitches in the crowd. Do something cool, bro. Like, like, nah, bro. And then I watch like and then ironically, I don't really like the niggas who be inspired by him either. So I know it's like I, I he's just corny, he's whack. Like yeah, he has FTR a cool, he has a cool you said who? FTR. Yeah, I know you don't fuck with FTR. Nah, I don't see the hype either. They're just they're yeah. boring, bro. They are boring. Like yeah. their their Twitter presence is better than like what I've seen on television. <laughs> they seem like stand up guys, but like in the in the ring, that shit's boring. How dare y'all niggas think y'all better than the Usos? How fucking yeah. dare y'all? They have never entertained me to the point of like a Young Bucks match, and like right. maybe it's because I like flippy floppy shit. But like they're just boring. I don't want to see niggas do sharpshooters and taxi matches. It's just boring. It's not nineteen eighty. Hold tag rope. <laughs> yeah, dog. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I want to see flips. I want to see cool taxi moves. I want to see fast paced action. I want to see all that. But like back to Bret Hart. Nah, I don't fuck with him, bro. I like. I'm with you. And it and it's not even a Hart family thing because it's like you know like. Natalie's dad, Natalie's dad was he's that nigga. Um, why can I not think of his name right now? Holy shit. Uh Night Jim Art. the Anvil Knight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Jim's Jim's wavy. I fuck with him. Um mm-hmm. who else am I like the his whole collective? Bulldog. Like, they, they were, Bulldog's uh, I fuck with Bulldog. It's, Owen it's really just the guy. Like, I, love, I love I love <laughs> I fuck with Owen. Like it's just right. He just gives me corny energy. And I love the fact that Shawn Michaels and Triple H used to give it making shit live in hell because the niggas was cool. Them niggas was like, this nigga's lame as fuck, hating. <laughs> <laughs> like, and they just made fun of him all the time because they could tell you can just tell the hater energy. You can just see it. You can see it in Bret Hart. He's a fucking hater. I agree with that. Everything he's you said about hater. Bret Hart. I think he's a hater. Um, he's I think that dog. plays in I think that plays in well to what we're we're here doing today. Yep. Uh but yeah, I think uh I've had 20 plus years of my life uh hearing Bret Hart complain about all of the same shit and how certain people were no good or how this person screwed him over or this person did like, I I've just never, I've never heard Bret Hart actually take responsibility for anything other than him. like, yeah, you know, like, but Hey, um, yeah, Bret Hart's not, not my guy. I think the, uh, I think the, the, uh, the Goldberg shit is a little bit disingenuous at this point. Uh, I think he's doing too much. So I agree with you. Yeah. He's not him. He's not fire him. merch though. He got some fire merch. A fire lot of merch Bret Hart is crazy. Oh man, I, I can't. I cannot wait until we drop the Spark Foundation uh, PE three merch. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Oh it's shit! Fun. I, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, um, I got some ideas. But um, my last one, uh, technically, I've got two listed here, but I'm going to go. I'm going to end this on a wrestling note as well. And I'm going to go with Bubba Ray Dudley or Bully Ray. If that's what you want to call him. I don't give a fuck what you want to call this man. Okay. I think he's one of those wrestlers that has uh, worked himself into a shoot and he believes his own hype. A la Mm -hmm. Bret Hart. Um, Mm -hmm. I think he's one of these people that I don't know. He puts his foot in his mouth uh, more times than not. I think um, a lot of the times when he's providing, his opinion and kind of telling people how things should go. It's just, it comes from like a selfish, Oh, this is what I would do standpoint. And yeah, then on top of no. that, it's like, first you were, you were dope in a tag team. You were never that dude. As a Ever. Guy. I don't care. Ever. I don't care what team they try to tell me. He's not him. Neither one of like neither one of the Dudleys were were him. Like the, okay, Devon, you had a fire theme, my dude. You know, with the little Reverend thing, and you gave us Batista. I salute you for that. You know what I mean? But I think they worked better as a unit rather than uh, singles. And I feel like, bruh, 
Bully Ray is just doing way too much, bro. This man Bubba Ray just feels like I I just feel like he's trying to force it to us. Like, nah, he's trying to make the point of nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I can do like I get yeah. I get heat. I get heat. I'm a heel. You feel me? And I'm just like, bro, like none of this shit is interesting to me. Like, none of it is fly. None of it is believable. You know what I'm saying? To the point of where I'm like, oh yeah, let me see what Bubba Ray finna do next. Like, no, like <laughs> fuck. I don't know. I agree. Outside of the Dudley Boys, I don't give a shit about him as a, as a singles wrestler. When TNA was trying, when he was the, the the world champion at that time, when TNA was still kind of like prominent, I remember being like, "What the fuck is going on?" This is why I know I shouldn't be watching this because he's your champion. <laughs> it's funny too because the other day I saw like because I don't watch Impact. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, I, I I don't be keeping up with that at all. So I saw like a a poster and I think it was like it was like for whatever pay per view was coming up and I saw oh, like. Damn. Bubba Ray on it, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here! Like that shit turned me all the way off because I'm like, y'all, there's no way he's wrestling. There's no way yet, like y'all are y'all are believing this still. He is in the main event of Impact's next uh, next pay per view show, That's fighting nasty, for the bro. world championship. Yes, against who? Josh Alexander, I believe, is their champion. Um, he's um, he's really good. Um, I'm sure, but the Impact always. Just, they, I will. They they keep a good yeah. roster of niggas who can go. I just don't pay attention. Chris Bay's over there. You know, Kenny him. King is over there. Trey Miguel is over there. I fuck okay, with Trey okay. Miguel. You know, but I just feel they like got, they still got Mickey James too, right? They still got Mickey James. I don't know for how much longer. The uh, streets are saying she's gonna be in the Rumble. Well, yeah. Well, she has like I think like another career versus like title match or something like that coming up. She's oh, had like man. three in the last year. It's like all right, you got to okay. lose at some point and get the fuck off. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. Like can't keep running this well, back. You feel me? Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah. Uh, shout out to Impact. Yeah, but the fact that y- y'all are employing Bubba Ray to wrestle still is, is ridiculous. No I didn't man. Believe it then I don't believe oh. it now. <laughs> Throw Impact Wrestling on the list as well. Just put just put the whole company on the list. Yeah, I mean, right. like I haven't watched Impact since they were on Spike, bro. Like I'm not even gonna hold Shit. you. Damn, I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> like I, I never gave oh, a fuck. Man. Okay. Like I, there's there's some incredible matches I've seen for sure. Yeah. Like I'm I like I, like obviously like like a, the AJ Styles ever like there's things that gave a fuck about going on like back in the day and shit, but like. Mm-hmm. Like right around, probably right around the time when Bubba Ray was champion. I'm like, I really don't give a fuck about what this is. <laughs> this is right. This okay, is crazy. Like y'all are. I'm with you. Wilding. I'm with you on that. Okay, I'm with you on that. Yo, this was this was solid. This was fun. This was this fun. Was fun as hell. This was fun. Um, I. What do I have left? Do I have any names left that I could just throw out there? Okay, I have one name left that I'll just I'll just throw out there as like an honorable mention. Um, it. Owen Wilson. Don't like that guy. He's an uh, actor. I've yeah, seen yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's got a brother. Is he the blonde one? He's the one with the fucked up nose. Like his nose is broken, like forever. I just oh. never liked anything that he's ever done. Uh, I yeah, never, yeah, yeah. He's, I never he's fucked exactly with. I, was thinking of. I don't fuck with his yeah. face. Yeah, I feel. Like yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, fuck that. Nah, I, I feel that. I I'm not with feel it. that. I see wedding crashers. That's like the only thing I've seen that like I kind of care about. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I don't really, I don't really like. There's not too many actors where I'm just like, oh, I fuck with that dude. I'm with you. I'm with you. And Baker Mayfield, I'll throw him on there too. Just fuck that. Damn. Damn. What if? What? If, yeah. I mean, what do you? He's what do a you bum. Do? No, I feel you. He's a bum. He's a bum. Shit. Fuck it, man. Well, with that He's said, a fucking bum. This this has been our our our, our hate list, man. Our you know what I'm saying. This was good. This was good. This was good. This was fun. I I really do appreciate you taking of some course. time. Uh, you feel me to, to to politic with me and run through this, um, yo. <laughs> there were some names on here that I was just like, yo, okay, Sting, bro. Like we not fucking with Sting, okay? Nah, cool. bro. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, I can't fault you. It is what it is. You feel me? I, I I said, yo, get all the white rappers out of here. I don't think. Yo, yeah, you were That's probably not. Bit. That's probably that was probably bit. a little extra. That's probably a little extra. I admit. No, nah, you have some good points to back it up. I'm just like, damn, all of them. Like, it's just all of them. But I, you know, I, I but I did talk about the the best one, I guess. So like, who am I? Yeah. So there who we go. I? Right. I, I attacked right. their king. <laughs> their king. You feel me? I'm with you. you feel me? I, I, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, as we do the close out here, you feel me? Um, 
frenemies for those of you that are watching for those of you that are listening you know what i'm saying salute to y'all uh throw it in the comments uh go ahead and hit the twitter with uh some of your you know what i'm saying your your forever hateless uh participants or nominees or whatever the hell it is you know what i'm saying nominees. send it our way let us know what you think you feel me let us know what you feel my dog my dog my dog my nigga Anything that you would like to throw out there? What you got coming up for the new calendar year? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Do you have any 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 shows coming that you're going to be hosting or anything like that? Just, Consistency, hey, yo. The floor is That's yours, the, man. This this is you. Your time to pontificate and all that shit. That's yeah, the, okay. That's the for 2023 is like the okay. consistency, like dropping podcasts way more. Uh, being a part of more shows, creating more things. So like with this move, I definitely like been transitioning. And now that I'm kind of like comfortable out here, yeah, I want to yeah. start like definitely being more creative. Um check out the check out the hip hop website, tdmforever.com. Uh if you're in the Rhode Island area, I do potion nights back up back home often. Uh a lot of dope shit. Yo. I'm really excited for the new year. I'm really excited to like see what opportunities come my way out here in Georgia for sure. Big action, man. And, Big and, action. and you know, follow me on all, all social media is at the Don Kuji on every everything. Um fucking hit me. I'm funny. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> right. Big action. So mad shit hit me. Bitch, that's what Tammy is. I think that's evident as the last hour and a half that we've spent. You feel together. me? You feel me? So but now I appreciate I appreciate y'all for having me. I love what you guys got going on. I can't say that enough. I think uh what like your collective as a whole is doing is super important for like wrestling for just fucking black funny culture like i love it it's it's like powerful niggatry at its finest and right. um, no for real like for real, for real like that's that's the goal brother that's the goal <laughs> it's just it's just like no nah, this is this is for us and but more than that it just really is well executed it's hilarious every time like the consistency is where it's at and i can't like stress that enough you guys got something special Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. You feel me? And oh. make sure y'all tap in tdnforever.com. Stay tapped in, stay tuned in, stay dangerous with my guy. You feel me? We got to do this again. We definitely oh, hey, got to do I'm this down. again. Let's do it. Really, I'm down. We definitely got to do this again. I'd love to get you uh, together with the rest of the guys. Uh, maybe we can do uh, another one of these where we just kind of politic and kick it or it. like even like a post show or something like that. We can all get together and just. I'd love around. to get y'all on the podcast too. Talk about Hell yeah. the story, how y'all came together, because I know that's a dope, that's a dope conversation within itself. Bruh, hey, just put the bat signal up in the air. You I got know you. what I'm saying? It's, it's all you. good. You feel me? But yo, if you tapped in, if you tuned in, we of course already know that you're staying dangerous. But I'll holler at y'all next time, man. We about this bitch. So deuces. Hey, take care of yourselves and each other. We out. Ball game.